CodeKit makes it easy to combine and minify JavaScripts, which can speed up your website. Here I have main.js, and this file is set to minify to the output path min main-min.js. If I go look at the code in Sublime, right now it's just a jQuery document ready handler. But that means this file needs jQuery. So typically how you would do that is in your HTML file, before you import the main-min.js, you would add jQuery as a script right here. And then it'll be available when this one runs. But having two script tags like this means two round trip requests to the server when this web page loads. And that means a slower load time. It would be best if we could reduce this to one script tag so that only one round trip request has to be made to the server. Now, CodeKit makes that really easy. Back in main.js, I'm going to add a special comment to the start of my file. It's just at CodeKit dash prepend and then the path of whatever you want to prepend. In this case, that's up one level because main.js is in this scripts folder. Power components jQuery dist jQuery.js. Now, when I save this file, CodeKit will notice the change and prepend jQuery to the beginning of my main.js file. So if I open this main min file in Sublime, sure enough, here's all of jQuery and my little document ready handler would be at the very end. And the file's minified just like we expect. So now we can come back to index.html and simply delete this entire line and we're down to one round trip server request. Back in the app, if I select main.js and then the linked files section of my inspector pane, I can see every file that's associated with the one I have selected. Here that's just jQuery, and I know that it's prepended by an in file statement because of this label right here. Now, this shield checkbox relates to syntax checking. Watch that video for more info. Now, the in file statements are not the only way to combine JavaScript files in CodeKit. For example, I'll come into my main.js file, wipe this line clean, and save the file. Immediately, it disappears from the list in CodeKit, but I still want to import or prepend jQuery to main.js. I can do that via drag and drop. Under Bower Components jQuery dist, here's jQuery.js. I'll simply drag it over and drop it into the prepends list. If I prepended multiple things, I could change the order by dragging them up or down. If I wanted to change the order within file statements, I would simply move my statements in the file. You should prefer the in file statements for prepending JavaScript rather than relying on the drag and drop in CodeKit. And that's simply because with the statements in your files, it's much clearer what's going on. If we were just looking at the code here, we would really have no idea that jQuery gets added to this file, right? We would have to remember that or go in and look at it in CodeKit. Secondly, Note that I imported or prepended the unminified version of jQuery right here. I did not drag in jQuery.min.js. I used the unminified one. And the reason for that is I already have main.js set to minify right here. I don't want to re-minify an already minified file. Most of the time it'll work just fine, but in a few edge cases that can produce problems. So if I'm minifying my whole file anyway, I want to use the unminified version of jQuery and just let CodeKit do the whole thing at once. If you like working in CoffeeScript, CodeKit supports combining files in that language as well. For example, main.js I've renamed to main.coffee, and I want to still combine jQuery with this CoffeeScript file, and it's easy to do. I have the exact same statement in my file, CodeKit prepend, and then the path to the file I want to prepend. But I've changed the comment delimiter. Here it's a hashtag instead of a double slash because CoffeeScript uses the hashtag for comments. Note that this line is always commented out in the file, and that's because it's not valid JavaScript or CoffeeScript. It has to be commented out, but CodeKit will still see it when it processes this file. If I choose main.coffee in the app and go to linked files, I'll see everything just as before. I can even, if I'd like, drag and drop files into CoffeeScript files, and they don't have to be just other CoffeeScript files. I can combine JavaScript right into CoffeeScript, and CodeKit will just make the thing work. 